Ted Harrison was born in England, but relocated to northern Canada in 1967, where he became inspired by his surroundings to paint the landscape of the Yukon. His artwork is easy, easily recognizable for his bright, contrasting color palettes and swirling, whimsical lines. Harrison also was known for illustrating children's books. Doesn't this remind you of artwork and scenes that you might see in Canada? It looks like it might be very cold there, doesn't it? Now, let's go ahead and use this as our inspiration to begin our projects. Beginning with the end in mind, we're going to be making this polar bear winter landscape. When you get your first sheet of white paper, I want you to start off by drawing out your landscape. Are there mountains in your scene? Are there areas of different kinds of land that you could be inspired by our Ted Harrison artwork? So once I created my pencil drawing, then I'm going to take either a black Sharpie or a black crayon and go over my pencil lines to make my wintry scene. Once I've outlined in black, I'm going to also take some watercolors. Think back to the pictures that we saw from Ted Harrison's artwork. Did he use a lot of warm colors or did he use more cool colors into his landscape? What are colors that might remind you of cold winter landscapes. Perhaps purples, blues, and greens, or maybe even some magenta to add into my purple. I just had fun taking my watercolors right now and using that on my paper to completely fill the page with color. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna make some whimsical or spirally kinds of lines to make it look windy or cold into my sky. It just gives a little bit more visual interest. Um, so I just had some fun drawing and painting some of those lines just to make it look a little bit more cold. I really like the way that it's creating a little bit more interest with lines into my sky. Now, set that aside so that it can dry into the drying rack. As that's setting off to the side to dry, let's take a pencil and start making upside down U's to get started with the polar bear shape and two smaller U's on the inside to give them arms. I'm also going to be adding some ears, nose, and eyes. Once you're done in pencil, please outline with Sharpie or black crayon. Now, once you've finished drawing out your polar bear, let's also think a little bit about texture. How does a polar bear feel? Is it smooth like glass, or is it gonna be more furry, like a pet, like a dog or a cat? Since it's a bear, you might wanna add some black little dashed marks to remind you of fur or hair that the polar bear would have on his body. Lastly, let's take a pair of scissors, cut out our polar bear, and lastly, we'll glue it down onto our beautiful and wonderful watercolor landscape. I'm sure if Ted Harrison saw your artwork, he would be really surprised and impressed with your work. Hope you have fun today, boys and girls. Thanks for watching, and happy art making.